Guru Dev. Yeah. If I taste the essence in the spiritual body with the spiritual senses, I'm able to relish this taste. But in the material body, with the material senses, I'm not able to get the taste of the essence. So, because of this, the Guru has to make it relishable. He put some water in the essence so that it is digestible to us, it, because we are on the material platform. But what you explained, Raghunathas is relishing the essence in his spiritual body. So he, after all, we can understand if he get the, uh, this what we get, then it's no more the essence. Es ist verdünnt, wie nennt man das? Liquefied. It's like liquefied. The syrup is like liquefied. And he, but he got the essence. So that means he ha is no more attracted to this liquefied syrup in the material senses body. So this we have to understand that we need this. We read about this beauty of, of Swamini, that she is the essence of all these beautiful uh, qualities. To relish her essence, to taste her, we need, in, in fact, the, a spiritual body, and we get it by the mercy of Gurudev. And so we can see how he is suffering when he is coming back to his material senses, material body. There is no more taste in this liquid, liquid uh, syrup. He liked to taste the pure syrup of the essence. Yeah. So we like to get this from you, Gurdiv. I think you also get, taste the essence, and we are here and uh, happy with some uh, waterly liquid <laughs> in the yeah. material. From hmm? Baba and all of you, I'm learning by this thing. I want to increase my greed. So we can experience that even some drops of this essence in a lot of water are already so sweet. Remembering Sri Radha Kunt's glories, he falls on the bank of the Kunda and laments. I want to see Swamini now, at this very moment. My life cannot remain in this body anymore. My life cannot remain in this body anymore. Yes, my life is somewhere else now, in the eternal body. His heart is floating on his tears. At this moment, he hears angel bells jingling who seemingly calling, 
Tulasi, why are you crying? He opens his eyes and sees Sri Vishakasaki standing before him. Being her follower, he falls at her feet and says, Oh, fair-faced Vishake, you are equal to my mistress in form, qualities, nature and age. Very similar. This is the Christian. Narita is very different. Narita is very heavy and controlling. Narita is very simple. Namaste, Gurudev. May I ask a question? About uh, Vishaka Saki, she is so similar because they were born, I think, only one day apart. So I would like to know because you always said Ananga Manjari is also very similar to Radhika, that we should not even differ. Is that a different difference? <laughs> Is that similar? Now we are talking about this. <laughs> and then Mandiri also is there. And Taranga Sakti will become by Ranga. When Krishna wants to go from the out of Kunja, and that time Radha cannot go out to leave Vrindavan, that time It's uh, Ananga Mandiri is very similar to Radhika. She do this. So it's very difficult to say about the Ananga Mandiri and Radhika. This time she is Ananga Mandiri and when she is Radhika. Krishna cannot recognize how we can be. Krishna cannot understand when is Radha Anandam. <laughs> so from I, your words, I think that Ananga Mandri is even closer to Radhika than Vishaki. I cannot say anything. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's sure that we can see inside the house with Radhani. And we cannot see Anand Mandiri when Radharani is there, but Anand Mandiri is there. Krishna cannot recognize Radha. Mm. <laughs> so we, we say that it's not good. This is the wish of Radhika, where he is like a Guru Kshetra Lila. I can say this was not Radhika Anand. Radhika not go there. She not go to Matra, but about Guru Kshetra. <laughs> That's 
दूसरी नारायण के साथ I think what is also very, very important in this in this verse, if I may, that you know, we we many times we hear the specialty of the manjaris and the special position of the manjaris. So when we hear this verse, we see that actually Raghunath Goswami is following proper etiquette and proper standard. He knows that actually Vishaka is Saki Bhav, so she is superior to the Manjaris. So this we can see again that actually that um, well, this is why Radhika is not shy before the Manjaris, because the Manjaris are even on the status lower than the Saki. So the Manjaris can go where the Saki never can go. So therefore, because now we see Raghunath Goswami is praying to Vishaka. She is her superior, his superior. So, and then we can understand that Radhika will never let Lalita and Vishaka in on the intimate pastimes because they are superior of the Kinkaris. They cannot go there. Only the Kinkaris can go there. So here we see the proper the proper positions of the Sakis and the Manjaris. The Manjaris are even more involved in the intimacy than the, the superiors, Lalita and Vishaka. I think this is also very Baba will come, I think, to that point later on also. They are superior. So Prabhupada also said, Pujan Sakigan, worship to Sakis. Because you are Dasi, Pujan Saki and Akhandivata, and offer yourself, give your services and everything to your Swami and his lover. Gurudev, the Atmani Vedanam of the Manjaris, on the other hand, is higher than the Atmani Vedanam of the Sakis. Because the Manjaris never in a dream will do anything which is happy to them, happy for them. So their Atmani Vedanam is the highest, is the quintessence of Atmani Vedanam. The Manjaris are the most selfless. So this is very beautiful what you said. And the Manjaris, they are the quintessence of this Atmani Vedanam. They have no personal gratification. What I want to say, this Prabhupada, very nice by them. Is in the Manjari now. Pujan Satigan I want to add it's from Bajahuri Mana, just for the devotees better understanding. Pujana Saki Jana Atmani Vedana The Vinda Dasabi that is the uh, page of the uh, poem what Gurudev recites because it's about the Pujana Saki Jana. Gana, do puja or worship the Sakis and then you can go in Atmani Vedan. Give yourself Atmani Vedan, give yourself. There is no worship required. You have to give yourself. Ma, yeah, this is the that is the deepest, the right understanding. I said wrong word. If it's about the self giving the the real self, the soul giving my whole existence. We can also see <clears throat> in the mood of the Manjaris, there is no independency. They are fully depend on our Swamini. Actually, the, also the Sakis are depending on her, but they have some 
also independent uh, uh, points in their uh, job description, I would say. They have, uh, they are not so fully depend on Swamini, right, Gurudev? Yes. So there was a question again, what means Atmani Vedanam? To give the self, the Atma, the real self, to give that in puja. I give myself to you. I just wanted to say it's so wonderful to see Srida. Jai Srida, so nice to see you. So nice. Vishaka, O oh, fair faced Vishaka, you are equal to my mistress in form, qualities, nature, and age. And you are the object of her confidence. My Swamini does not leave your company for even a second. In the beginning of his Vishak Ananda Stotram, Sri Raghunadas has written Bhavanama Gunadinam Aigyat Sri Radhikaivaya Krishnendo Preyasi Same Sri Vishaka Prasida Tu May Sri Vishaka Krishna Chandra's beloved, who has the same mood, name Vishaka is another name of Radha star. Radha and the star, like the star in the sky. So Vishaka is another name of the Radha star. May Sri Vishaka, Krishna Chandra's beloved, who has the same mood, name and qualities as Sri Radhika, be pleased with me. She has a deep loving friendship with Sri Radharani, who is a little bit afraid of Sri Lalita. For me this is also the impression that it's like humbleness. If I cannot get Radharani directly, then let me pray to the ones who are very near to her. Maybe I can get a little bit more easy there. Uh, how you say? And Unterstützung. Support. Their support to reach my goal. She has a deep, loving friendship with Sri Radharani, who is a little bit afraid of Sri Lalita. Vishaka is Sri Radha's Narma Bhumi, the abode of her confidence. Narma Bhumi is a soft. Very confident, soft, normal, softness, very soft. Like a Laita is very strong, and Visakra is very soft. There is no difference between the nature of Radha and Visakra. You see? In Chaitanya Lila, Ra Ramananda. Now he is soft. Very soft. Very soft. Radhi Radhi Gurudev. If I can share something, because you just said about 
you mentioned Ramananda Roy, and it's very significant how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu exchanged love with Ramananda Roy. Yeah. With, with more intimacy than with Swarup Damodar even. And the proof of that is that actually through Ramananda Roy, he explained something which was never explained before. Prema Vilasa Vivarta. This exchange, exalted, sublime exchange of love between Radha and Krishna, where they are changing the roles. One moment, I have to charge my battery. Yeah. So, in that way, he showed this specific mood and the greatest intensity of love which Radhika and Krishna are exchanging and relishing together. That Krishna is thinking that he is Radhika and Radhika is thinking that she is Krishna. So this is prema vivarta vilasa, confusion out of prema. But it's interesting that through this realization which Goranga gave to Ramananda Roy, he gave him also one more opportunity to relish Manjari Bal. Because only Manjaris be in Nikunja in the moment when this Kali, when this Lila is going intimate, Lila is going on. So only Manjaris are witnessing this Prema Vivarta Vilas. So it's also showing how close association are between Radhika and Vishaka, because also Goranga and Ramananda Roy, they exchange such kind of tender, sweet, very, very, very confidential topic between each other, where ultimately Goranga put his head on his mouth and says, stop, stop, don't talk anymore about this. So this is, this relationship is actually meant for the bhajan, and this bhajan and all Relishing has to come from Swarup. And Raghunath here from Swarup, he is situated in his own Swarup, and then he is approaching Vishaka from his fixed position. And also Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Goralila show this intimacy, and it, it's not for everyone. So I just, you inspired me, Gurudev. When you say Ramananda Roy, it came. Brother, yeah. sorry. Thank you very much, Goranga Sundara. So literally, it also means the abode of joking and humor. That's an interesting point, which actually is written in Vishak Ananda Stotram 17, 105 and 106. Sri Radhika is clad in it by Vishaka's Narma friendship and has given her heart to her. Sri Radhika smiles when she sees that Krishna is defeated by Vishaka's intimate choking words. She is the best teacher in joking and she defeats even Saraswati Devi in eloquence. 
When Madhava speaks about his intimate pastimes before Vishaka, Sri Radha frowns her eyebrows and playfully beats him with her play lotus. From this, we can understand that Vishaka is Sri Radha's Narma Bhumi. Swamini does not leave Vishaka's company for even a moment because Vishaka is her Abhina Brana, inseparable bosom friend, literally non-different life heirs. Wherever Radhika cannot go personally, she sends Vishaka. For instance, in the holy pastimes, Swamini takes Lalita in her own ranks and keeps Vishaka in Krishna's party, knowing that she will take care of her affairs there. Srila Rupa Goswami has written in his Ujjvala Nilamani. We will read that. Maybe to that chapter somebody has some comments, questions or something. Okay, then we go on. Sri Radha told Vishaka, Saki, you are my life heirs on the outside, which means my second form. You are both very clever and very eloquent. Therefore, today you must make Madhava attached to me in such a way that my prestige is not even slightly diminished. Srila Vishwana Chakravati Pad has made a truly incomparably relishable commentary on this verse in his Ananda Chandrika Tik as follows. Sri Radhika said Saki Vishake You are the external manifestation of my life heirs and therefore I have great faith in you. You are very clever and eloquent. So please go and see Madhava on the pretext of picking flowers. But pretend not to see him. Just speak about me casually with your girlfriends, describing the supremacy of my form, qualities and love in front of him. Hearing this, Krishna will then ask you, Saki, whose wonderful sweetness are you glorifying? Then you will anxiously and carefully bite your tang you and say, no, no, no once. Then Krishna will say, Saki, why are you afraid? There's no harm in telling me. All right, 
then don't tell me. But I am already acquainted with her anyway. Then you will have to say Marava. What is the use of being acquainted to her for you? He will say Saki, I have a very confidential relationship with her. Then you must say Get out of here, Madhava. There is too much difference between the two of you. There can't be any intimacy between you. He will say, Saki, what difference is there between our natures? Then you must say, You are a debauchee. And she is devoted to her husband. You are whimsical. And she is steady. You are impious. And she is devoted to the devas. You are dirty. And she takes three baths a day. After which she puts on Clean cloth. Krishna will then say, Vishake. As far as chastity is concerned, I am also a brahmachari. In the Gopal Tapani Upanishad, I am described as a brahmachari. And How can you call me whimsical? I held up Govardhan Hill for seven days with steady hand. You were all able to see that. And how am I impious? On the order of my parents, I took initiation into Vishnu Mantra from Baguri Muni. Brahmanas like Purnamasi, Gargi and Nandimukhi all know this. And I am also not dirty. I am Shutsi, purity or Eros itself. I can prove it through your own experience. Then you must say, But Madhava, still you are a man and she is a married girl. She will never look at you. I will be blessed by looking at this virtuous girl even from afar. Then you must say, Madhava. How will you accomplish that? He will say, There is one way. Today I will personally install a deity of the sun god in a cave of Govardhan Hill. Smear the temple with my own hands with clay or urgence and wait for her from a distance. Then you must take her there to see and worship that deity. (laughs) 
when she sits there for doing puja, I will be satisfied just by looking at her form, uh, uh, just by looking at her from the back. And if you are kind upon me, then I will be allowed just to touch her food soles once. Then you must say, Madhava, what reward will you give me? He will say, Saki, what more is there to give to you? I will sell my very soul to you. Then you must say, Just wait, Madhava. I will fulfill all your desires and come back to me to bring me there. Thus, Srimati reveals her desires to Vishaka, who is her bosom friend and who is the abode of her Yuma. So what a wonderful example of how Swamini is meditating in all details, how she will meet her beloved under which circumstances and what he will say and what he will do and all this in such details. And whatever she is meditating on to serve her beloved will, of course, be the truth. It will not become the truth. It is the truth. So her whole existence is just there to serve her beloved. And what is such a great luck for us, she's also thinking about her little servants. In this example, Vishaka is doing the seva. But in other examples, <laughs> the mandaris actually are doing different kind of sevas in that connection. Radhe, if I can say something, this is Lila on which Sadakas has to meditate and Gopal Mantra. Actually, meditation on Gopal Mantra slowly and on this Lila will bring relishing for the Manjari Sadaka. So sometimes devotees are asking on what I should meditate when I'm chanting Gopal Mantra or Krishna Mantra. And we can see here the example of Gopija and Balabha. And Manjaris are witnessing this conversation, lively conversation between Radhika and Vishaka. And Krishna appears. So I think that this is one of the example and subject like a lila which is not different from the Gopijana Vallabha.
Sri Raghunath eagerly desires that Vishaka's mercy. After he described Sri Radharani's matchless sweetness, he called his prayer Vishak Anandada, the hymn that will delight Vishaka. After hearing Sri Raguna Dasa's wonderful glorification of Sri Radha, Sri Vishaka will cast a merciful glance on him and engage him in Sri Mati's service. This is the desire. Sri Raguna Das carries in his heart. In Swarupa Vesh, Sri Raguna says, O Vishake, you are dear to my mistress. My heart is suffering from separation. Please revive me by showing me my Swamini just once. I cannot stay alive without seeing Swamini for a moment anymore. Mama Viraha Hataya Prana Raksham Kurushva. O fair faced Vishaka. Your girlfriend, Sri Radhika, Savayasa means of the same age, in the abode of your heart's love. You don't leave each other's company for even a second, because you always play joking, ecstatic pastimes together. I am dying at every moment because I cannot see the queen of Braj's love bowers. I am suffering very much from the spikes of separation. O oh, Goddess Vishaka, will you be so kind to show me Krishna's beloved Radhika? Jai Jai Shri Rati. Here ends the explanations of Srila Anandadas Babaji to verse number 99 of Vilap Kusumanjali. I just thought how near is here the 
play in ecstatic choking and the dying. Just one verse difference, very near. So we may die to live in ecstatic humor, in ecstatic exchange. But it doesn't mean that we have to die before do that. <laughs> Only the material body has to die for us. Sometimes I know that people say, this person is dead for me. <laughs> that means it doesn't exist anymore for this person. So for how lucky we would be if this would be in our body consciousness. This person is dead already for me, this material person. But the spiritual person is alive and is in this joking, ecstatic pastimes together with Radharani. One more thing, Gauravani, we can see in this, that if we are very, really greedy and hungry, like Raghunath, no? and maybe Swamini is too busy, there are others in her association, they are similar to her in their mercy. And if she is not coming, we can pray, for example, to also to Vishaka, then she will also help. So there are many close friends. We are, we can pray to for help. This is this example I can, I, I know I, I got from your verse, what you read here, that our Vishake is similar to Radhike and also appeared to our Tulsi Manjari. And um, she also gives mercy to Krishna. by this what you read, no? right? So she have different jobs. I will not say jobs, this is not a good word. But what says Aufgaben? Services. Services. So, but for us, we can see how much mercy is available if we pray intensely before we die. <laughs> and this is connected with a good sense of humor. When we hear die about the body and the ego, we always are very attached. That's why we cannot laugh about this usually when we are attached. At least in my case, I can see that sometimes it's hard to laugh because there's some identification still. <laughs> but actually, it's just a game. And if we see it with the humor, we are just playing here. But actually, we are eternal. We play some game that we are uh, very uh, sincere, very... Uh, in very good positions and very much needed and you know all these things which lead to pratishta and all this stuff but actually we can always be in humor in joking exchange in loving 
choking exchange. And this is actually the abode. Vishaka is the abode of humor. I think this is actually giving a lot of hope. We cannot die. We are eternal. It's just a game. We just play that we are humans. And as soon as the real ego is there, we can understand and feel that. Not only understand, feel it. And when we feel it, we can make jokes, we can laugh about this. But as long as we cannot feel it, we have just the information, it's hard to digest. So it's the same with Prima. We have to feel it. <laughs> Only by feeling it gets reality. Not by understanding. It's not a question of eloquence. Although the person who is the abode of her eloquence and humor is telling us this. So she must know. So the only thing what we have to do if we want to to reach the goal is to follow follow these examples understand the vilap from Srila Raghunathas. What kind of vilap is that? And by understanding I mean of course in the heart. And that's why we are actually so lucky that persons who can feel that are actually giving us this in such simple words. Like Gurudev, he's always telling in such simple words. Sometimes in the beginning I was a little bit, um, how you say, verwirrt. Uh, I could not get it. Why are you saying in such simple words? words. Because he understood. Because in Germany there is a saying that if somebody understood a topic, he can explain it to a child in very simple words. If he didn't, he cannot. Then it needs to be explained in very extraordinary way that no one can understand. So if somebody gets the essence, the quint essence, then he can explain it in very simple words. Because in his simple words he is transporting the feeling of his heart. And I can see that actually this is what Gurudev is giving us first. And I'm very thankful for that. And also in the exchange with all of you, I can see that the essence of your hearts are actually coming to everyone by sharing the feelings, the things we actually realized and not so much the things we read once
So Vishaka is her bosom friend and the abode of her humor. So Tarun Baba, can you maybe give us a hint what is the difference between the Saki, Vishaka, and Ananga Manjari? Because I saw you making like that uh, some time ago. Gurudev explained something and maybe you had another point on that? I'm just asking, I don't want to give any, no. Gurudev said everything there is to say. It's a very, very deep, very deep subject, but definitely there is a difference. Like Gurudev said, Radhika and Ananga Manjari are much, much more closer than Radhika and Vishaka. Ananga Manjari also knows when you read the, the, the book. So Ananga Manjari is in a very different position because she is she knows very much She knows what's going on, you can say, you know. Vishaka has no real information about the intimate pastimes and what, what is really going on in the Nikunja Lila. Radhika will never, will never uh, perform these very intimate Leelas in front of Lalita and Vishaka. But Ananga Manjari, she very much knows these things. So it's a very, it's a very I'm not qualified enough to go deep into Ananga. It's not, we, are, we, are, we follow Rupa Manjari. We are not uh, followers of Ananga Manjari, but I know that the subject is very, very deep, but there's definitely a difference in the tattva of Ananga Manjari and uh, 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 Vishaka Manjari. Also, Nityananda, you know, and Balaram play a role. You know, Nityananda's form is Ananga Manjari. Janava's form is Ananga Manjari. It's very mystical. She has a very, very, very important role, Ananga Manjari. But for us, I think Rupa Mancha is even a little bit more important. So, so we should focus more on, on Rupa Manjari. And Ananga Manjari is a, is, very, is a very, very deep subject because she is Manjari only in name. She is in her tattva, she, she is actually a Saki, but is also a very, very special Saki in that, in that matter because she knows, she, she, she is the one who is the least Saki of the Sakis, because she only unites with Krishna for the pleasure of Swamini, because Swamini tells her to. But Vishaka and Lalita, they enjoy with Krishna for the pleasure of Krishna, to make Krishna happy. And Ananga Manjari is making Krishna happy for the pleasure of Swamini. So this is a very, very deep subject matter. But I think Gurudev said already enough, you know, she's Ananga Manjari and Radhika are very close. Bus. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. And the moon of Japan is also sitting there, Gora Chandra. You didn't say anything now. Please, please. Won't you share with us? Won't you please, please share with us? <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking about how Vrindavan is the creation of Radharani, everything. And how this Vrindavan is like a network of love. And everyone who enters the network becomes entangled in the loving affairs. Uh, he wants to be controlled by love. 
so he loves Vrindavan so much. He allows the devotees to control him with their love in the different, different rasas. But everything is controlled by Radharani. She is like the, she is the queen of Vrindavan, but her energy and or her agents controlling everything to give happiness to Krishna. And everything what is happening in Vrindavan actually only supports the Sringara Rasa, the loving affairs between Radha and Moha. And in a sense, we we listen that the gopis, they are expansions of Radharani. In a sense, they are not different from Radharani. And also the manjaris, they are also Kaha Vyuha expansions. So they are somehow also expansions of them, of Radharani. Oh, yeah, our view. So, Krishna in Vrindavan, he is also entangled in this net of love and in this Leela what we just listen, Radharani comes to him through Vishaka. And also, Radharani is coming to Raghunath through Vishaka, in a sense. She decides when she directly reveals herself in front of the loving devotee or in front of Krishna, but already before this meeting, this direct meeting happening, everyone already is in the energy of Radharani and she creates everything to bring you closer or deeper entangled in this net of love. And nobody can escape from that. That was that I was thinking about because We also understand that Guru Dev or Guru Manjari is, is becoming an instrument of Radharani. In that sense, there's no difference. When the heart is pure, we become, we become instrument of Radharani. So through, Radha, through the devotee, Radharani is working. Through Vishaka, she is working. She is doing through Rupa Manjari. She, she is doing through Ananga Manjari. She is even doing through yeah. Yashoda Maya. She is creating the obstacles. She is removing the obstacles. Everything is done by her Lila Shakti. She is that Lila Shakti. So in a sense, everything is controlled and done by Radharani's love. Oh. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's a wonderful point. I was also thinking about this actually, how everything is connected and how Radharani is delegating yeah. or how you say this person who is making the concert. She is actually acting to all the inhabitants to serve her beloved. 
And I was just remembering one incident, actually. When Krishna wants to go in the forest with the cows, mother is very much af afraid. He will hurt his feet and he will be in the sun and so on. And I was thinking about this verse. If this is really just a motherly love, because you said, God Chandra, everything is parakya. So actually, I was meditating on what she is telling and what is Krishna answering. And I want to share this with you if you want. So mother is saying, your body is so soft. Please don't go in the scorching heat, the sunrise. Uh, the sun rays will touch you. And be careful because, because of the kusha grass. And don't walk before the cows and so on. Whoever read this verse will remember. And then he's entering, Krishna's answering. The bumblebees zoom around the blooming honey-filled flowers. <laughs> so, actually Krishna is answering. You don't know what is going on in the forest. You don't have to have fear. I will describe you now how it is, what's going on there. And he's starting like, the bumblebees zoom around the blooming honey-filled flowers. Who are that bumblebees? And who are these honey-filled flowers? Isn't that a clear hint of parakia? Different birds are blissfully chirping and we enjoying eating the sweet and ripe pomegranates. If we meditate on that from another view, from Krishna's view, what he is actually made it meditating on that, he just had a meal and now he's actually, he had, uh, after that meal, he had a short meeting with Radharani and now he's going to tend the cows. But what he is meditating on, when will I meet my Radharani in the noon time? And what he is telling to Yashoda she will understand in her understanding, in her bath. But what actually is Krishna thinking of? That's something completely different. And if we meditate on that from Radharani's point of view, that means they are already meditating when they will meet there, how they will meet, how it will go on. The gopis will be also there because it's noontime. So the honey-filled flowers and the bumblebees. So if we meditate on that, we can see, yes, Gaurachandra is completely right. Everything is parakya. We just have to look on it. And even, it is said, even when... Gopal and Gopali, they are meeting and playing. From the few of the mother's love, the little childs are playing together. But what actually do the mandaris see? That 
I don't see them as Gopal and Gopali. So we can understand, yes, everything is parakya. My dear Jayananda, today you were a miser. You didn't share anything with us. Can I please touch your lotus feet and inspire you to share something? Um, so actually, I would like to, yeah. Um, So, uh, what can I share? So, uh, one thing, why here, this is my understanding, why here it is uh, all fair face to Bishake. So, because uh, I forgot to name, every manjari has, uh, how to say, every manjari has a saki, who can, who can kind of, uh, like I say, rupa manjari is, you know, rarita, ma, uh, rarita saki is under rarita saki, rupa manjari is there. So uh, this Bishaka, Bishaka Saki is under is is this this kind of like kind of Torasi Manjari. So therefore, this is this Saki is very very connected, and uh, um. So this Torashi Manjari is playing Bishake. And also Bishaka is Gurudev mentioned very very close to with Radhika. Because uh, uh, birth date and birth time is the same. In astrology, <laughs> It is uh, according to the uh, constellation of the star. It means that according to birth time, every nature, you know, talent is is different. But uh, Bishaka's case, Bishaka is very funny. Bishaka's and Radhika is timing also same. That means bosom friend. Nature same, talent same, and uh, so so therefore, uh, therefore, Radharani could could say anything to Bishake, and Bishaka also could say anything to Radhika. They are very very close friend. Most dearest, one sense, dearest Saki. So this, this Bishaka, and also um, our Manjari, also we need, we need mercy of Saki. Because uh, uh, sometimes Saki order us, Saki sometimes kind to us, sometimes protect us. So therefore, this uh, Bishaka, Bishaka, uh, especially Turasi Manjari, Bishaka is very, very important. And uh, the kind of object of brain. And So, and also Bishaka is very, very uh, expert for 
えー、常勤。Therefore,、uh, this, the kind of following this kind of bishake, the, the kind of manjari also very, very expert for joking. Like Mahanid Baba <laughs> always saying, saying joking. Why? Because they are following Bishaka. And、uh, so, anyway,、um, this. So, I was completely <laughs> observing. So, I'm a little bit.、Uh, I, I, I have nothing to share today.、Um, so, anyway, this. this Manjari, especially Trashi Manjari, is, is a connection of Bishaka. And、uh, this is also very, very、uh, intimate. Baba mentioned Bishaka Nanda Dada Stotra. So, Bishaka is、uh, Krishna Chandra's beloved who has the same mood and name and quality as Sri Radhika. Be pleased with me means give me mercy. Because if we want to get mercy, Of Radhika, if we could, could the mercy of his dearest friend, because Radhika follow, Radhika could say, if Bishaka say something, and then Radhika has to follow, because so dearest friend. So if Bishaka help, help me, help us, then Radhika should be help. So, sorry, I, I don't have any realization. Rade, rade. Thank you very much. What you call nothing, actually, I feel is quite a lot. Thank you for that. So, if you are inspired to share something on that, Suniti Didi, you didn't say so much today. I think <laughs> I, I think that、um, somehow the feelings are not coming so much. And I think it has something to do with、uh, what Tarun Baba said that we are in the, in the group of, of、uh, Rupa Manjari and the Lalita. So, I feel maybe that is the reason why not so many feelings are coming. But what I really enjoy is listening from Goranga Sundara about the relationship between、uh, Ramananda Roy and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And that is, I feel very close because we are always discussing how、uh, Ramananda Roy was、um, used. To help to reveal this, you know, very, very、uh, highest level of Mada Nakya Mahabhav. So I, I feel this is where my heart is resonating a lot that、uh, the relationship between Ramananda Roy and Goranga Mahaprabhu. Maybe I don't have so many realizations about Vishaka, but like you would have said, that.、Uh, You know, the, the Sakis, we are the servants of the Sakis. And I remember once、uh, Gurdiv was sitting in his blue chair in the basement and, and he looked with a very sweet smile and he said,、um, What can I say? I'm just a small,、uh, you know, I'm under the Sakis. I'm so small. <laughs> so we are actually very small. And they are the, you know, very.、Um, 
also confidential servants of Srimati Radhika, and they serve also in another way that we cannot, uh, this way I cannot, I have another service. I feel I have another service. <laughs> That's all I feel. And I think that is why not so much churning is going on, you know. It's more like observation. It's more a lot of also reverence and appreciation. And it's a um, respectful mood. That's how I feel today. Daddy. I, I also think like Suniti that this is a different different thing, you know. We... The, what I always love very much is that Baba is highlighting always the speciality of the manjaris. And for again, we, we don't have to know so much things about the Shaka because like Suniti said, we are Rupa manjaris is more important for us, but we can learn these things for, and therefore Gurudev is always saying when we have a Staib half, we see every verse of Radharasa Sudhanidi, every verse of Vilabhakusa Manjali, even Prema Bhakti Chandraka, even the prayers of Raghunath Swami. We have to go through this lens of, of Manjaris, you know. We, we, we read everything with the stai bhav, with the stai steady perspective and the steady emotions of the Manjaris. So for me today, this is very beautiful to see how there is some kind of hierarchy, but a very loving hierarchy that we see that the Sakis are higher in position, but the Mantris are a little lower as Kinkaris, but that is what we always aspire. And this is the highest Atmani Vedanam. And Raghunath Goswami, he is, he is not saying to us, go and get so much knowledge about Vishaka. He is saying, respect your superiors and pray to them that you can move on and that you can make beautiful seva. And like Suniti Didi Beautiful said, we have a different kind of seva. We don't know. We don't want the close association of, of Krishna. We want that Radha and Krishna are happy and that is our perfection of our seva. So we have this, like Suniti said, we have this very beautiful respect for our superiors, Lalita, Vishaka, all these Sakis there. But we are more in the group of our Guru Manjari and Rupa Manjari. So we are always focused on being the, the kinkaris, the servants of the servants of the servants. So this is what I take from such a wonderful verse that Raghunath Goswami is saying to us, you know, take the, lotus, the dust of the lotus feet of your superiors in this world and also in the spiritual world, it is always like that. This means humility. Raghunanda Swami again, he also is showing us the example of perfect humility as a manjari. And also here in this world, it is said that you should be respectful to your elders, to your superiors. So it's, it's a line going through, you know, here and there. And this is, for me, this is very beautiful because I try to, to see that, not with this German body, but with the man Manjari body. Every verse we have to see from that perspective. Yes, thank you very much for making this again clear. I think it makes it, it clears a lot, actually, the lines, the, how you say, Grenzen, uh, border lines. Huh? <laughs> how to see the things, actually. So, where is my heart and where I go in? And in this connection, actually, I think everyone can understand that if we meditate, how Swamini is making a plan with us to catch this Krishna. Then uh, the life actually is coming. So how to get him for her? How to bring him in the Kunja that they meet? And I think actually this was the, the, the quintessence maybe for our feelings here how to meditate on that. Like Gorang Sundara said very nicely, actually this is one example for meditation. 
But I think we have to, to have it clear in our uh, system. Where are these border lines and where we, we start and where we just wait and see. But you see, Gorovani, we know each other now such a long time and Suniti also, we know each other now decades, we can say, you know. So isn't it beautiful that Suniti was now able to say this? This for me is very beautiful. This is a big realization. She's openly saying this is not my service. I mean, look, look at where other people are in devotional service after 30, 40 years. It's very difficult to understand what is your serv what is your service. I think this is a wonderful thing, Suniti. You can proudly say, this is not my service. You know your service. Bus, end of story. So when you know your service, you also know your Siddha Swarup. So I'm not saying we are privileged. I'm not saying we are better than others. But this is something to be really, really happy about that you can say, very nice, but this is not my service. I'm not... I am not there for these things. I am there for different other things. So this is in, in Bhakti. Now we're coming to what you say, quintessence. That is the quintessence, to know who you are, to know what you have to do, under whose Anukatya you are. What is your Anukatya? We cannot, in German you say, du kannst nicht Herr Diener vieler Herren sein. You cannot be a servant of many masters. So that is a very, Dragunath Goswami again shows us, you have one master. And this is the expansion of Swamini. This is your Guru Manjari. And here in this world is Gurudev. Both are expansions of the lotus feet of Swamini. That is how we all see this. And this is beautiful, Sanidhi. Just be so happy that you can say this. I'm this, I, I, I the same. I also say, Dandavat Pranam. <laughs> it's not my... Not my seva. We all have different uh, Ausrichtungen, um, different sevas, you know, different moods, different bhavas, and this is very beautiful. We have to focus on our stai bhav. This is all Gurudev's mercy. He's giving these feelings, and I can just go by feelings. And um, yeah, I'm so thankful, Gurudev, that you give these feelings to us. Yes, Tarun, we are right. 20 years ago, <laughs> 10 years ago, <laughs> I, I could not hear this from anyone. Yeah. And fair faced Vishake, actually, the beginning. I see that actually this is just coming over the lips because actually, first impression is, oh, my Swamini, but then, oh, no. It's Vishake. Okay, you are. You have a very wonderful face. You're looking like my Swamini. But then the next sentence is my queen. <laughs> my queen. So it's beginning directly. And this is actually making this distinction. Yes. You look like, but you are not. But look at the last, look at the last words. How humble Raghunath Goswami is. He's asking her, please show me, right? Yes. Please save my life from the affliction of separation and show me my mistress. Show me this my mistress. This is humility. He is very humble. Yes. He knows that he needs the blessings, like Gurudev said, the blessings of the superiors. Very beautiful. Yes. Wonderful. Yes, thank you all very much. I was really wondering what would what will come today. <laughs> the focus on stay buff. That, <laughs> that is wonderful. Because Gurudev right teaching, Guru right. teachings should not go in vain. Huh? No. <laughs> We can be we can be so happy that Gurudev and Baba is a, is a is a dream team, you know. Yes, but a real dream team. Yeah. <laughs> Gurudev, are you happy with our conclusions? Hmm. Good. Yeah. Right. 
the feelings are right, Gurudev. We are not so super excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear. And Sunniti today one that we can worship with this Hakka Sakti. She select this Pujan Sakti. That was a, a Godavani selection, Gurudev. I didn't. It is his, <laughs> his no mercy. Problem. No problem. But it's 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 all beautiful. We should not come into the dual mind. Yeah. So thank you very much for your kripa. Jai Baba. Jai Baba Ji Jai 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 Jai